Well, I love that you're being honored during a Bengals-Browns game because one of your most famous moments was screaming at the crowd, you don't live in Cleveland, we live in Cincinnati. How often do you hear from people in Cleveland saying, hey, you know what, Sam, screw you? <laughs> well, let me tell you, I, number one, that won't go away. Everywhere I go to speak, I'm introduced <laughs> to that. And uh, But, you know, the, the office, I didn't know what I was going to say. There'd been an incident in Denver the week before, and the commissioner sent a memo around, don't let this snowball stuff get out of hand. And um, it started to get out of hand to get play in Seattle at home. And I went over and grabbed the mic and said, if you see anybody throw anything on the field, point them out, we'll get them out of here. You don't live in Cleveland, you live in Cincinnati. Well, I don't think they ever heard you live in Cincinnati because the place went berserk when I said you don't live in Cleveland. And I, I remember looking up and saying, I'm going to look in the owner's box. If Paul Brown's laughing, I'm okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm in deep duty. But uh, he was laughing, and uh, everybody else was cheering, and it was it was okay. We did fine with that. By the way, in, in the off season, I went back to try to mend some fences. I sat at a dunking booth in March in the <laughs> down, middle of downtown Cleveland. Bernie Kosar was a quarterback. He helped me put it together and his dad. And the, and Big Dog, the guy in the dog pound that you always see. Yeah. And uh, we had a had big dog bones uh, to throw. And I'm sitting there, and we had beaten him twice that year. And I said, "Ye without a win, cast the first bone." Well, <laughs> I don't. Well, I guess I don't read the Bible that much. But anyway, um, they, Bernie missed with a dog biscuit, picked up one of the dog bone, and uh, picked up that football, and nailed me the first time, proving. <laughs> And I can verify this. Shrinkage is a reality, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Especially March in water in New York. <laughs> Sam Weiss joins us here on the show. One of my favorite quotes of yours ever was describing how to throw a perfect spiral. And you described it like throwing a booger off of your finger. If you pick your nose, you got to throw with the twist of the wrist. And I was always yeah. wondering, having coached Joe Montana, Boomer Esiason, and other great quarterbacks, would you use that technique and tell a Joe Montana or a Boomer Esiason, throw oh, the yeah. football like you were throwing a booger? Yeah. By the way, uh, Boomer Esiason picks boogers. I mean, he's got them. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. But the uh, they principle was uh, mainly a, a little narrative or a little parable to uh, remind them that you, you know, don't bend at the elbow in. You bend the elbow straight out towards the target and you snap it with the wrist and the last three fingers that touch the ball are fingertips, so your corner, your middle finger, and your ring finger, not the thumb, where you get that porpoise effect. And if it's a windy day and that nose goes up, it goes, the wind takes it off target. So there, there's a good reason behind it. And they don't forget that story, by the way, much like yourself. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> it's such a good one, and it lives forever.